he's part of a, a group here in the city called the Peace Poets, correct? Or who's doing amazing, amazing work at the intersection of uh, arts and politics, are always thinking rigorously about what it means to, to do political work that celebrates the arts and does it in the highest order, right? So next up to the microphone, please give all your love for Emmanuel Candelario. <laughs> Thank you, compadre. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's a blessing to be here with you, um, to be here alongside such amazing poets, um, and especially for this important cause, um, and emphasizing and lending our voices and our platforms to this message, um, Black Lives Matter. Um, and everybody who's in this room is affirming that message. Um, and just thank you for doing your part and for lending us uh, your voice in this platform. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so this poem was inspired by a quote by Frederick Douglass, um, power concedes nothing without demand. However, it was also fueled by the overwhelming ignorance that is found online, um, <laughs> especially given uh, recent events. And so one thing that we've encountered a lot is people complaining about protesters um, as if protest wasn't the foundation of this country. So this piece is for that. <clears throat> Power concedes nothing without demand. That means you're going to get your freedom from cold, dead hands. Because the man at the top is deaf to your plight. He's got nightmares of when the people unite. Labor, it's not just a name to me. It's why Americans invested in slavery. These capers led to hundreds of years of free labor that we paid for while Americans were stacking that free paper. Freedom through blood, bone, sweat, and soup. Because when you sow all season, you want a piece of that fruit. Truth, this is my way to honor it. Freedom happens because of liberation movements. Not a serendipitous change of consciousness. And what is freedom if not the right to work? Our right to work the angles and right what hurts. Power concedes nothing without force of will. Don't believe me? Ask the workers who were coerced and killed. At Haymarket Square, workers were hurt at will, all for a few more freedoms to work a drill. Such a novel idea to work then chill. The bourgeoisie are afraid of what time reveals. The truth is they don't own anything. They steal. <laughs> they don't own anything. They steal because when a worker spends his life constructing, who owns the steel? Traded in his life for a few measly meals. While they intimidate unions for a few measly deals, we must see the forces. That's why they keep blinders on horses. Yes. Power concedes nothing if you want a favor. Don't believe me, it took a movement to regulate child labor. <laughs> we're still becoming the country that we're yearning to be. Just in 93 got unpaid maternity leave. Yeah. Everything has a history. 40 <laughs> 40-hour work week, vacation, sick days, taking off work. That's why they whip slaves. And I still see the current schism, because slavery still exists. It exists in prison. If freedom isn't tied to the way that we make a living, we construct our own hell in which we live in. Power concedes nothing if you want its pity. When was the last time we ate out in the city? Who do they keep caged back in the kitchen? Those who they pay below minimum wage for a living. America's dirty secret. We hate immigrants, but love their cheap labor. Our economic policies force them out their countries, but we ask them for green papers. Our fear is that our next stop is turning the world into a global sweatshop. Power concedes nothing without demand. And if you don't keep your rights, 
by your fist, they just might fall out your hands. Keep it going, keep it going, Fernando.